Hey guys, welcome to the Knife Guy. So, we got the Benjamin Bug out here. Uh, I've had this thing for about a year, and I figured let's do a long term review for you guys. Let's go over everything. So, originally, they came, this knife came with these bribery scales, but I went and got these laser engraved black and leaded micarta scales from DNA Lasering, They're, and I think they did a really good job. Uh, I mean, it was good with the gravity scales, but I figured I want to try again something different. This thing is extremely light. It like it's like under two ounces, which is crazy. Has an access lock here. Pretty nice. Really good. This is the full size version. There was a smaller version. I like the full size. I think it fits well. It has an S30. B steel. It won't. Yeah, there you go. S30 B drop point blade really cool really good it's an awesome knife now let's do some size comparison we're going to take the smaller knife the mkm isanzo so the benchmade bug out here is about seven and a half inches and the blade length is about three inches uh, we got the cobratic otf knife here check your loss first before you get one it's just a little little taller than the benchmade bug out benchmade bug out though is a lot bigger than the mkm isanzo now we got the M16 10KS CRKT knife. That is a little shorter than the Benchmade bug out. Next we got the Civivi Elementum. No, there's still some room between those. Next we got the CQC8 Emerson knife. Look at that size, guys. Look at that size. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's really small compared to the Emerson. As I said earlier, this thing is under two ounces. It's extremely light. Like when you put it in your pocket, like you don't feel it, which is good. So it's good when you're wearing shorts and just anything because it's not dragging your pants down. So it's a really, really light knife. Uh, it's as a thin blade. It's like a thinner knife. It's not gonna be used for a heavy duty. This thing is made in the USA, which is really good. It's a deep carry pocket clip here. Originally, if you want to get these, uh, it, do, it does have a reversible pocket clip. Just the one knife. Just when I got the scales, I just got it one sided. If you wanna customize your knife, you can, there's a ton of aftermarket parts, which is really nice. That's where I got these. And then, actually, I got some titanium screws for it, which is pretty cool. Pretty nice. It's a great knife, honestly. Definitely worth it. If you're looking for a light EDC knife, not too bad of a knife. I mean, some people may like it, some people may not. But yeah, it's a great knife. Definitely recommend it. But yeah, that is Submission Made Bug Out. Long term review. Great knife. Definitely wor worth it. About 180 bucks. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Share this with your friend, uh, like a friend or friends, whoever, that would also like this knife. We just hit 100 subscribers. So that's awesome. Thank you guys. Now let's get to 200. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'll see you guys later.